Welcome back to 20 Years of Doom. I'm Tamin. And I'm Red. Today we're looking at... We're going back to known war criminal and mass murderer Commander Keen Billy Blaze, age 7 or 8, or IQ 314. Uh, Keen Dreams. Wait a second. Hmm. Hold on a damn... Oh my god. Go on. You know, I'm I'm kind of glad that we're spoilers for recording this. Um, I just realized, uh, this is the original Terror Billy. You're right. No. Oh my god. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Depends on which timeline we're looking at, but as far oh, as the real hmm. world timeline, he's in fact the first Terror Billy. Oh, wow. So, yeah. oh, did you have more? Oh. Sorry. Uh, no, that, that's it. So this is, I feel like I interrupted you again. Nope, continue, sorry. All right. Um, Thanks. So this is a Keen Dreams, Keen 3.5, as it's known by some people as. Um, it's the last uh, Keen episode. I believe the story behind this is, um, this was obviously between the two Keen trilogies. Id Software was... Uh, working on Keen, and they 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 made their bosses ex bosses. I'm not sure if they were ex bosses yet. The people at Softdisk who they worked for whilst developing the Keen games, um, and basically the story is I think Softdisk has had some some tense of that word um, the publishing rights to this game, which is why you don't find it on any official id releases of. Uh, Commander Keen packs, um, but okay. this, yeah, this is the first edition of this game to come out on Steam, as far as I know. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird story, I think. Um, weird, yeah, yeah. Basically, some guy who, well, guy, I don't know, some company, I don't know, uh, released, re-released this on Steam with like achievements and stuff. And then that got taken down, and then the guy, I keep saying the guy, the company, um, who, who's who been uh, remaking all these old first-person shooters, uh, Night, Dive, uh, Night Dive Studios, I think, released a version of Keen Dreams. I might be mistaken on that. That's just sim- something hmm. I seem to remember reading somewhere. But yeah, this I is see. the first version of that. Um, we've got Billy Blaze, um, he's falling asleep, uh, he, his parents want him to eat his vegetables, but he's just not having any of it, so of course, yeah. he, he dreams about vegetables, and, um, I don't know, there's some guy named Boobus Tuber. Boobus um, Tuber. Yeah. That is a heck of a name. Yep. Ooh, and, of course, eek. you can change the CGA colors if you want, and you can stretch it all. It's great. Hey, nice. Yep. But uh, I imagine Keen would look kind of fat if you did. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think this version even has, like, leaderboards, which is weird for a DOS game. Leaderboard? What the hell? Yep. So... I mean... Yeah, points. Why not? Yeah. Um... Gosh, I wonder who has the highest score for this game. Oh, God. It's going to be one of those things, again, where somebody just plays the Keen games religiously and games like it and nothing else. They never moved on. Hmm. So, in this game, we can't, we, we're can't. we deprived of our um, blaster weapon, being that this oh, is no. a dream. And instead, we have these things... The, the, these little seed ball things called flower power that turns vegetables into flowers and they they look really high I guess it's it's the fever dream like uh, translation of like it's a uh, sorry my words aren't working right now basically it's symbolic because this is a dream the the flowers represent you know, like their their grave their tomb you know pushing up lilies. Yeah, whatever but, the saying is. But they unflowerify after a few seconds. Oh, God. Uh, vegetables are a turn. Uh, no. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. I tried. I gave up. Well, um, also, 
I believe this game is the first King game to actually let you save um, within the levels, which I don't utilize Ooh. until way later on, but uh, that that's a thing that happens. Well, that's nice, because uh, this one's hard, isn't it? <laughs> well, no. No? Compared to the first three, not really. Oh, well, that's refreshing, I guess. Yeah. Um, but how does it control? Uh, better. There's no, like, oh. delay uh, for jumping or anything. Nice. See, I, can just, I don't have to bend my knees to jump. It's great. Oh, yeah, that whole... Uh, I still don't get why that was a thing. Uh, probably because they thought they could get away with it. I don't know. It was... It was, uh... It was neat at the time. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, wow. This is, you know, Keen, you don't really have very interesting dreams, I gotta say. Uh, For being a genius, your mind is pretty droll at night. Well, he, he's only eight, so his imagination's very limited, you see. Oh, right, you know, being an interstellar war criminal and all. Yeah. He has nothing else on his mind but boring black mountains and... Oh, well, unless this is like the Mountains of Madness or something. I there's think, trees here. Yeah. The, the, hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Well, it still dreams about candy, though. Yeah, well, I mean... No... No Vortigaunt, Vortigaunt yeah. soda, though. Yeah, he's no remorse over the whole Vortigaunt thing. Like, he doesn't even think about him in his dreams. Right, just vegetables. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he thinks they're all mindless idiots, and that's more symbolism. But he literally is being asked by his parents to eat vegetables that he doesn't want to. Well, yeah, and so he has a dream about his horrible war crimes, but instead of a gun, he just, you know symbolically kills people and speaking uh, of killing people those are boobus bombs oh uh, we need a certain number of those to complete the game and they're kind of difficult to know whether or not they're in a level because uh, uh for each level they're in a very brief message appears at the on the screen uh see right there at the top near. yeah it's set yeah. for like a millisecond you gotta be well, really paying attention I'm sure back in the day it didn't load as fast. Mm, that's a good point. That might be true. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Hmm. What if it did load that fast? Um, then those it guys were really good. Yeah. Well, I, I think it developed the this they... one. Hmm. Like, uh, they, 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 they developed it so... Uh, back to id's deal with uh, soft disk um, they basically agreed to have a, an extra game out every month for soft disks gamers edge magazine which uh, basically id was the uh, sole you know developer for even before they started it so uh, they just they put this in along with um, catacombs 3d and hover tank for nice. said magazine. Uh, and some point after that they stopped, probably after Wolfenstein was released. Yeah. I mean, at that point, it's like, well, we, we got this. Got this by the balls. Yep. Also, um, th I swear there's a secret tunnel in here, and I'm just trying to get to it, man. There it is. Yep, found it. Also, those little Peapod dog guys are jerks. Hmm... All right, I've got the bombs. That's a precarious jump. Yeah, a little Oof. bit. Uh, got it. Wow. But of course. Damn. Uh, can't get out that way. Good oh, thing I'm okay. so good at this. Um. Mm. Come on, Keen. <laughs> wow, really? Um. Yeah. God. I always forget how dickish old video games can be like this. Oh wow, yeah, and then there's an enemy that you can't see. Oh no, you're going under him. Never mind. Yep. I I, I was throwing uh, my flower power, which if you miss, you can pick back up. By the way, which is nice. Oh, that is nice actually. Yep. 
Oh, also, this is um, the first King game to use ad-lib sound effects rather than PC speaker sounds. Ah. Which is nice. Also, also these guys are jerks, too. What I, the... I didn't learn for a while that you could throw while you're climbing on poles, too. I see. Yeah, it seems like it'd definitely be useful. But yeah. Um, with this having ad-lib, it was supposed to have an ad-lib soundtrack, but they didn't have enough, I don't know, memory or something. They didn't have one of those computery things that they needed. I say that as if I don't know some things about computers. I don't know what they needed specifically, <laughs> but they didn't have enough of it, so th this game has no soundtrack. But um, there was a song composed for this that made it into King 4, which... Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Might get there someday. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Also, I think this way has more bombs. Hmm, let's hope so. We need all the boobs bombs we can get. Yeah. Also, it's I love the little icon. jingle. It's great. I do too. Thanks, just Bobby to, Prince. Just trying to figure out what that icon is when you pick them up. Oh, that's uh, King Boobus Tuber. Oh. Yeah. Next to, a, next to a bomb, or just that's what he looks like? I, I think he's next to a bomb. Look, oh, he's, a, he's a potato. He's a potato man. So it's a potato bomb. Got it. Yeah, it's for meant meant for destroying potatoes. Huh. Huh. So Keen is actually dreaming about uh, chemical warfare and destroying crops. Oh man, that's what this all uh, is. But uh, is war of attrition. Oh, that was an easy level. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now let's get out of here. Screw Who cares that. about high score? I'm out of here, losers. Right? I mean, it, it's literally like just a... It looks like a destroyed log cabin or log castle or something. So yeah, just fall to the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. Level. King probably has something to do with all that destruction and mayhem. Right. In the Keen Dreams anime, there's actually a really touching <laughs> scene there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It spends a long, Somebody... spends a long <laughs> sorrowful I... moment there. <laughs> I see if Commander Keen anime fan art exists. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh man, somebody that's got to change, I think. <laughs> oh wait, somebody did one. It's, it's okay. in like colored pencils. There's one. I found one. We're good. Ah, all right. Nice. Oh man. Wow. Oh, keen anime. Hmm. Hmm. You know, it, it would be super edgy too, with all the war crime stuff going on. <laughs> oh god. Gotta be careful here. There's literally squash in the swamp of s squash swamp. Uh, creative. Yeah, and they'll jump on you and squash you because the, the, there's squash. Ah. Uh, I, I blame Tom I Hall for that sentence. I don't get the joke. Could you elaborate? Um. Whoa. <laughs> Cannonball. Uh. Right. Well, it all started with a guy named Tom Hall who made some really weird jokes. Like, I don't know, stuff you would see on Invader Zim kind of jokes. Oh, man. Yes. Hey, you got an achievement. Yeah. Sick DOS achievement. All right. You know about Chip's Challenge? Chip's Challenge. It's Maybe? basically one of those classic games that came with some versions of Windows, uh, like with the likes of Ski Free. <gasps> Oh, 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 I think I've actually played Chip's Challenge. Yeah, did you know that the sequel was um, in uh, legal hell for like two decades and finally came out like two years ago? Yeah, that's right, yeah, that's how I, that's how I remember it, because a little while ago, I'm not sure how long ago now, I heard about that and went, wow, glad it's finally out, but damn. Yeah. I almost forgot yeah, why I brought that up, but it's because of the achievements. They they, oh. they put Steam achievements in that game, and instead of the little, uh, you know, dialogue box in the corner, you literally get, like, a Windows 95 pop-up saying, congratulations, you got X achievement. It's oh, great. Oh, man, that's, that's great. 
I like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, Those games are hard, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, the real question is, <laughs> was the was it worth the wait? <laughs> I thought Chips Challenge 2 was all right. I enjoyed After it. After 20 years, yeah. Well, all I right. mean, I had no real history with it, but, you know, <laughs> it was fun. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't know. This is a weird fall. Oh, I wonder if Keen, like, stands on a ledge, if you, like, teeter off, maybe. Yeah, maybe some weird edge collision thing was going on there. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know why I'm so bad at this jump. Come on. All right, once again through the waterfall. Actually, I meant more like uh, you if you tiptoe to the edge in a Sonic game. Because it's kind of what it seemed like, because he, like, span left and right when he fell. Mm. I don't know. It seemed like a deliberate fall. I don't know. But the good news is I made it in. All right. All right. I hate these guys. This is Keen. I've infiltrated the fortress. Oh, boy. Hmm. I mean, oh god. Killer tomatoes. The hell was that? Oh no. It's killer tomatoes. Okay. All right. Yeah, should have expected that. Didn't, but I should have. <laughs> Can't hit this guy for the life of me. It's just like a what what is it? It's well, it was a flower. Oh, mm. yeah, I can't figure out what that is it like a like a green bean pod or something. Well, except there are green, uh, you know, there are pea pod enemies that yeah, are upright. So. I almost mm. fell down the waterfall. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah. No, after not all, the time replace. After all my tribulations trying to get that key. Hmm. All right. Oh, there's another one. Yep, another one done. Oh shoot! I missed what I was going to bring up now. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out what that enemy is now. Uh, oh, no, I remember. Uh, so I noticed you can throw your flower pod things up. Yes. You you're not just a left and right shot anymore. And Oh, God, grapes. Grapes! Screaming grapes! <laughs> yes! Oh, no! Oh, God, they're horrifying looking. God! It's that perfect kind of, like... 80s, 90s, uncanny valley with the big eyes and they don't have a, a visible mouth until they suddenly scream <laughs> while falling. Well, that's... And then they bounce and they just they just float back up. God, why? It's a, it's a mystical dream world. Ugh. Uh, These are the grapes saw... of wrath wrought by Commander Keen. These are oh man, there it is. Yep. Oh shit, damn. Yeah, uh, if I saw a face remotely like that in any of my dreams, I would immediately wake up in a cold sweat, <laughs> or just like, like you know, when you when you have a really startling, or like when you when you fall in a dream, and you're just like, <gasps> oh, yeah, and you're yeah. awake. The good old um, hypnagogic jerk. Yeah, that thing. Hate that. Oh, yeah, there it was again. I, I wonder if you, like, if you want, no, because, hmm, that's weird. I don't know, man, it's a DOS game, it's incredibly imperfect. Yeah, because I was going to say if you, like, walk off a cliff, but when you did that earlier, Keen just kind of floated down like he was jumping. Right. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, oh God. that guy's dead. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> wow. You can't kill people, you just got to, oh, man. Yeah, you gotta put a lot of elbow grease into killing them here, though. Hmm. Someone who could match Keen's true genius while playing this game would be able to kill all the enemies. Like, like Mortimer McMire? Yeah, it's it's the real secret achievement. Or it's the only secret achievement in this game. Uh, is literally kill all of the enemies by dropping them down pits. Oh boy, that would take forever. I don't even think it'd be feasibly possible because yeah. I don't think all these maps have pits. I was go just gonna say, but but it's there. Hmm. Zero point zero one percent of all players have it, and if you check who the, which players have it, it's just Mortimer McMire. 
Yep. Oh, man. Or Billy Blaze himself. Mm. Mm. Oh, by the way, we're in the melon mines, in the mine cart melons. Melon. Melon. Also, I but think there's this... cookies here. Well, oh. there's cookies in every level, so... Yeah. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, this was this was the level where I discovered you could quick save mid level because of uh, the upcoming part here. I got tired of dealing with it. Oh. Also, I love doing this. Is this Return of Crouch Man? Um, not really. No, yeah, that was a jump okay. cut because I died and I quick loaded from there. Hey. Oh wow. It's not so easy. Hmm. And I also, I'm really glad that that wasn't like water or whatever. Yeah. Right, get out of here, tomato guy. Now the question is, can you throw straight down? I think you can, actually. What? Oh, probably for when you're on uh, poles. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you did that while standing, you'd just be continually repicking up seeds and. Keen is actually a horrible Butterfingers. Yeah. All this to get these freaking bombs, man. Yep. Look at this. Yeah, jerk. no, that was that that symbol was boobus bomb. Because it had boobus and a bomb. Yep. It's um strangely su succinct. All right now, I just gotta escape the melon mines. Melon carts. Hmm. Come on. I can only wonder what that laser railing shit is. Uranium. Oh, of course. M my anium? Just remember, only uh, only uh, all on. natural watermelons are collected from non-radioactive mines. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just leave, and you know we'll be fine. Yeah, just you know, don't don't any, eat any of that radioactive GMO watermelon, and you'll be okay. All right. Well, um, I, I I think I was able to do this a long time ago, but we're finally going to the Tuberia Castle. Ooh. Also, I like how the painting watches you. It's <clears throat> great. It is. Um, wait, wait. So wait, are you telling me we could just? come here at the very beginning of the game and get our ass handed to us. Well, not until the next level, but yeah. Huh. There's no reason we can't get to this level otherwise. Yeah. Oh, sick throw. Yep. Also, those gargoyle faces are shortcuts. Huh. Yeah. You can take the long way or you can just jump on the gargoyle tongues when they come out. Oh god, the grapes are back. Oh, God, why are there grapes growing in here? It's a castle. <laughs> oh, they're not... Oh, yeah, there it was again. Yep. It's I, so I, weird. I, I don't know why that happens, man. It almost happened again. I almost think it has something to do with if you, like, stop moving when you're on a, a ledge. Yeah. Perhaps Keen falls down. See, I just threw straight down. Nice. Yep, there it is. I just gotta get my way back up, you know, the right way, because I got the key now. There was a key that I needed. Um, I haven't visited the door yet, but that's where I need to go. All right. Yeah, I don't need to deal with that. Not really. I, it might be more boobus bombs, but that's it. Nah. I think you've got plenty at this point. Yeah. So we actually do need a certain amount, and there are more than we need in the entire game. But if you beat all the levels without collecting enough, you're just kind of out of luck. You got to play the game again. Um, wow. Yikes. Yeah, so get to it in a second. Oh, I, 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 I thought I had the key. Was I not paying attention? Hmm. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to so, go get the key. So wait, are you saying you can't replay levels? No, you can't. Oh, wow. Oh, so you really only have <laughs> one shot through every level to get it right. 
Well, you have plenty of shots. Level... Well, hey, yeah, yeah, you leave yeah. the level too early, though. Yeah, that's true. Or before you find any boobus bombs. Yeah, some of them are easy enough to find, but, you know, there could be a scenario where you just don't find enough. You need 12, by the way, to beat the game. That That's the magic number. Well, I would imagine that it probably involves some kind of arbitrary mechanic with throwing these bombs, so well, <laughs> more than 12 might be handy. Yeah, unless you're... Because um, otherwise, they wouldn't have you... Well, rather, if you only need 12, they'd only make you collect 12. Right. I'd At this juncture, I'd like to um, shout out... Is that the word? Plug. Uh, Captain Plug Clever. Out, yeah. He's... Uh, uh, yes. I think I mentioned this on another video, but he's the guy who... Oh, this is Boobus's chamber. Uh, there's oh. King Boobus Tuber. I've got 18 bombs, so that's plenty. Oh, okay. So, bombs instead of flowers now. if you're a good speedrunner like uh, Captain Clever, as I mentioned, you just throw all your bombs at the beginning like it's nothing and kill them in like a second. But I suck, so... Oh. So you could, like... You can throw it as fast as you want, basically. Yeah, and apparently that only took nine bombs, so I don't know where I got the number 12 from. Hmm, 12 is the answer to a lot of things. Yeah. I don't know. Hash brown like remains. Oh. Oh, yeah, but it's yeah. pretty graphic depiction. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Captain Clever, he does Commander Keen speed runs and, like, Jazz Jack Rabbit speed runs, old DOS game speed runs, and also is working on a series about Doom Wads. Um, nice. Yeah. Uh, the evolution of the wad, he calls it. And then he's got a whole panel of wad makers on that, which is neat. I feel like I've plugged this like two other times before, but here it is in the Commander Keen videos. Yeah, oh, where, where it's relevant. Well, I mean, he speedruns Commander Keen games. He has yeah. like, he, he has a 40 minute speedrun of all seven games. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh no! I forgot I wrote that. <laughs> Just stuck in purgatory between games. Yikes! Wow. He really crash landed on his way back to Earth. All right, now for the Got into a horrible I guess, accident. Oh, oh nap oh, reel. Well, go. Nap reel. Oh, I see. Yeah. No keen, keen's head on his own shoes. Well. Hmm. What a jerk. So then if, if King goes to sleep after something bad happens to him, does he wake up in another dream? Um hmm. Is this is this inception? Is what I'm getting at? I think it's some kind of bizarre infinite recursion kind of thing where if he falls asleep in the dream he just wakes up in real life and then vice versa. Oh god. Ugh, those stories make me uncomfortable. Hmm. Story like stories about that where you wake up and you're in a different world and you go to sleep and you go back to the last place you were at. Yeah. Really confusing. Ugh. That or alternatively it's like the thing where like you have a dream about getting up and getting ready and going to work or getting up and doing something and then you like, "Oh shit." I need to wake up. <laughs> so you wake up, and then you get up, and you go get ready, and you go do something, and you're like, oh, wait, shit, I'm still dreaming. All right, let's try this again. Oh, God. Yeah. I feel like I've had dreams like that, but I couldn't really uh, name. Well, name. I can name one I had a couple of months ago where, for whatever reason in the dream, there was a massive, super weird, complex, like lighthouse telescope thing in the corner of my room that protruded through the roof of my house and every time I realized it was there I would realize I was dreaming and then wake up oh, in the yeah. same bed of course and, and th it would still be there and it would be smaller <laughs> so it was like oh wait shit that's right I'm still dreaming alright let's get up okay let's go get dressed and wait a second what the oh yeah I'm still dreaming alright wake up okay go go get some coffee Go out the door. Oh, wait a second. What the, the fuck? What's this sitting telescope. on my roof? <sighs> yeah. That was basically it for I don't know how long, but... Man, if only we could, you know, see what people would dream because if I knew that was happening, I would just go... Oh, hey, grapes. I would just go find oh. a telescope and put it in the corner of your room for when you woke up in real life. Well, no, because it, it, it looked like a lighthouse. 
Uh, that but would like, be considerably like a harder. Down, a downscaled lighthouse, and it had lots of little pieces and gizmos sticking off of it that, like, a stellar telescope would have for, like, an observatory just huh. decked along the uh, the length of it. And, yeah, it was it was protruding through my roof, so you'd have to, like, add an installation in my room as well, probably. Yeah, that'd probably or be just make it go up to the ceiling. Too much work. Yeah. I'm good at jumping in this game, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Good good demonstration. Oh. Yeah. Hard oh, enough of that. Oh, deaths there. Yeah, yeah. Well. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many. Yeah, that, that, that particular corner of the castle is not worth going to, if you ask me. Seems like oh god, it. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh no! <laughs> Why did you use your boobus bombs? I, I wasn't thinking, man. Oh no. I, I wasn't Captain Clever enough. Oh. Yeah, okay. Don't throw them up. You really just got a mash on it, man. Game over. And just, just... I don't know, like... Pikachu headbutt in Smash. Oh yeah, that's them. what happens when he goes to sleep in his dream. He's in a coma. Oh yeah, huh. Nice. Well. Huh. 69. T he. Look, that's just the number I <laughs> of times I happen to die. What can I say? Yeah. Can't help these things. The end.